We initiated Family Design Days to really give as many families as possible the opportunity to go through um, design education. You're creating a shelter. For your creature, it has to be strong enough to stand up to the weather. Your project needs to have at least three of either a column, a triangle, a curved shape, and a woven element. We always go through the design process where we ask good questions, we do brainstorming, we start to draw, and then we start to build. So it's a, it's a real process of thinking. I like to build trains, airplanes, apartments, houses, train stations. We have been coming for the last three years. We love what um, this program has um, done for our son and um, we think it's a very worthwhile program. Sometimes design can have this sort of exclusive appearance and programs that the BSA does, it's really nice. It allows people to come into this world that otherwise seems a bit closed off and it really brings them into a dialogue that they can relate to. Instead of everyone telling them what to do, they're sort of figuring out on their own and sort of seeing design come to life. So I think that's extremely valuable. We, we like to say we're not creating little architects, you know, we're creating big community members. So why is it up on columns? Did you just, how did you decide to lift it up? Um, because if a floor comes through, the end will, the gazelle won't get wet. That is so oh. smart. What we want to accomplish is, is having kids leave here understanding the process of design, understanding the way architecture and design really matters, and then go out and uh, you know, look at their city differently. The BSA and the BSA Foundation has supported learning by design and architects working with kids. And so none of these programs would happen without the foundation's support.